Did you know that a hummingbird beats its wings 70 times per second? 70 times in a second. And cameras still have a hard time capturing their wings without causing motion blur. Keep watching to find out more about a type of photography that you can do right in your backyard. Hey everybody, Justin here. Sorry it's been a couple weeks since I've had a video. Um, I've had a little bit of a Crohn's disease flare up. It's still going on, um, even right now, but uh, I needed to get a video out. And today I'm feeling a little better than normal, so I decided I should probably get around to doing it. Uh, this video I've had on the back burner for a little while. It's been maybe a month since I've taken this footage, but I was at my uncle's house for a birthday party and his backyard was the perfect place to get some pictures of some of the hummingbirds that are in the area. Now by the area, I mean Hersey. Uh, I'm in Detroit, so a bit of a difference. There might not be any hummingbirds around where you live. Just depends on the time of the year and the season. Uh, like I said, I took this stuff a month ago, so they're probably already gone. Yeah. But regardless, this applies to any type of bird, really, hummingbirds I'm just focusing on for this video because they're really cool. Um, you can technically do any type of backyard bird photography any time of the year as long as you have a bird feeder and you know you know what kind of bird you're going for. So if you take a look at this clip here you will notice that the bird's wings are moving relatively slowly. Uh, not too slowly but slower than normal. Um, this was taken at 120 frames per second on my camera and that's basically a fancy word for slow-mo. And you'll notice I couldn't even slow the wings down perfectly. Uh, they're still a blur, and that's just an ode to how quick a hummingbird's wings really are. In photography, your shutter speed can be a big help when it comes to stopping a hummingbird's wings. Um, but you have to have enough light to do it. So if you're in your backyard and it's kind of a wooded area and you're expecting to stop a hummingbird's wings with a high shutter speed, you're probably going to end up with just a dark photo. Uh, the photos that I took here, while they aren't perfect, they did stop the wings for the most part. Um, this is due to the fact that the backyard that I was in was fairly well lit. Um, you can introduce external lighting as long as the birds aren't scared by it. And uh, I found that one of the best ways to get close is to simply just get close. Uh, park yourself by the bird feeder and wait. You're going to have to wait for a while before they get kind of used to you. If you can, get a tripod keep your camera aimed up as much as possible without having to do it yourself with arms. Suffice it to say, I didn't have a tripod with me that day, so I actually did have to do it with my arms. I got quite the workout. But the best way to get this type of photography is to stay still and wait for the bird to come to you. Um, you can do this with a long lens or a medium lens. I definitely don't recommend a wide angle lens. I used a lens at about 400 millimeters so I could be a little bit further away from the bird and so that I wouldn't startle them as much. If you've done some pre-planning and set up your bird feeder well in advance, possibly around springtime just so they know that there's a feeder around, um, they'll be less likely to be afraid of you, especially if you're in your backyard often. Um, I will also note that your camera for this doesn't have to be a DSLR, it always helps but you can get away with a point and shoot for this one. Um, probably not gonna wanna use a phone for this. Just saying. When it comes to hummingbird photography, one of the trickiest things you're gonna have to overcome besides stopping the bird's wings is keeping it in focus. I like to keep my focus on manual. Uh, this is so that I control the focus throughout the entire time that I'm taking pictures of the bird while it's at the feeder. While the bird is feeding and I'm looking at it through the camera, I try to set the focus on its face or on its nose, just a, yeah, nose. It's a nose, right? It's a mouth? Beak? Beak. It's a beak. You generally don't want the focus to be on anything behind the eye. Um, you can if you want. I mean, if you have a fast enough shutter speed and you want those wings in focus, that would be cool. Um, but generally you want the eye or the beak. It's the main focal point, so you'll definitely want to consider that when you're setting your focus manually. Lastly, you'll notice that the bird's behavior, uh, it will come towards the feeder, take a drink, go back. Come forward, go back. When it does this, you tend to lose your focus instantly. And that's just because your focus is set on the foreground, whereas it's moving into the foreground and out of the foreground rather rapidly. Don't try to adjust for this right away. If the bird's gonna stick around for a while, just wait for it to come back into position. If you do want the bird mid-flight, try to focus on it while it's in mid-flight. You may take a few times of it going back and forth for you to get the focus correct, but wait for that. They're hungry, they'll be around. You have time. Well anyways guys, I'm really glad you tuned in for this video. If you've made it this far, I hope you have a lot of success with whatever type of photography you do, whether it's in your backyard or anywhere else. 
If you liked what you saw, please feel free to like and share this video. I always appreciate it when uh, people share my videos. It gives, it gives me more views and I definitely keep an eye on that view counter because it's all I have. No, it's not. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and uh, it might be a couple more weeks before you hear from me again, simply for the fact that I have some tests coming up on Friday for my Crohn's and I might not be feeling the greatest due to that fact. So maybe the following week I'll do another video. So yeah, thanks again for watching and have a great week. Look at Katie, it's Jet, he wants down.